Grinch. <laughs> It's the I keep saying it's literally like <gasps> this um, is such a professional we've job. We've hired a professional Grinch, and and it's not Sophia. <laughs> like it's scaring me. Like all the videos, <laughs> all the videos of the Grinch. Like at uh, Universal, I, I think, look better than him. You, like, I look better like, than him. She looks better than him, and I, I can't even cope with it. We've been in glam for quite a few hours now. <laughs> the sun uh, is set yeah. upon us in Whoville. <laughs> in Whoville, <laughs> another day has come to an end in Whoville. It's about seven p.m. Sophia got her nose on at ten a.m. It's been a long day. <laughs> so it's been a long um, day of mouth breathing. We right? also realised throughout the day that we may sound slightly nasal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that is because we cannot breathe through our noses. So if you are listening on audio, I would recommend hopping over to YouTube, YouTube. for this one. I truly would. Otherwise, you might start to get a little bit pissed off. It's definitely a sight for the eyes. It's definitely a sight for sore eyes. Because uh, I'm getting a bit of a uh, dry mouth, as you would say. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> as you would say here. <laughs> and who fell? <laughs> okay, right. So we want to... Merry gonna, Christmas. We just want to wish you a Merry Christmas. So, right, that's the episode. Merry Christmas. <laughs> right, okay. We've got a question of the week this week. Yeah, let's get into it, guys. I'm Cindy the Grinch. Lou. Chintzy is Cindy Lou. We're just, we're just here to We're here to smile. say the day. Honestly, you know, dressing up as Shrek, we got a taste for dressing up. We've got a taste and for it. And it, now we're addicted. It really struck, uh, struck us, didn't it? And it we did. were like, we have to do this again and we have to do it better. And, and, and here we are, we've leveled up. Instantly we thought, well, what another iconic duo? Well, it's of course the Grinch and Cindy Lou Who. Because <laughs> it's iconic. Because it's iconic. <laughs> and I <laughs> love to do iconic. You do only shit. iconic shit. And Chintzy is looking great as a blonde. Honestly, like I think it's so cute. We love the noses. We love the noses. Lydia says it looks like my normal nose. Slay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> right, okay. Four o'clock, or while I'm in self-pity. Pretty. Right, question of the week this Five week. Five o'clock, jazzercise. I'm on phone Question duty today. of the week. Sleigh I cannot bells. use my phone because my hands are green and hairy. Uh, so it's Angelina. It's all on Cindy Lou today, right. folks. Take it away, Chin. So we've got, how did you find, how did you, how did you we've find got, out? Wait, 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 wait. If anyone is listening with their kids, cover their ears. Why? Because you're about to say the oh, question of the oh, week. Oh, warning, Seriously. warning, warning. Anyone's listening with small warning. children, cover their warning. ears, please. Below the age of 16, because honestly, the magic can stay alive up until the 14th. <laughs> the magic can Don't stay you think, alive. Because you know it's kind of like unspoken with the friends when you're like 14. And you're 14? Like, yeah, you're like, of course, he, you know, he, yes. And it's, like, it's like, oh, yeah, he's like, he's definitely not real. Wait, I was thinking more like nine. Nine? 14? Oh, no, no, definitely a score what and you're like yeah um but it's like unspoken. it's like yeah yeah um what he's definitely yeah not real is he 14 my parents kept the magic alive i don't know about fiona and grant <laughs> could tell you all the oldest sibling <laughs> <laughs> my dreams were crushed at an early age jesus 14 how old are you at 14 14 what what year is that at school seven that's like year nine oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> I was like prepping for GCSEs. Okay. Okay, on with right. the question of the week. Okay, so cover the children's ears. Or put them in another room. Yeah. How did you find out that Santa wasn't real? Sophia, how did you? Shh. I remember it well. Yeah, go ahead. Please so do tell. I was at primary school. Yes. And I had an older brother. Had, sorry, past tense. <laughs> Have. He's since not around. <laughs> well, I'm the Grinch now, so I'm just embodying this lonely energy. But I do have a family. Um, so yeah, I've got an older brother. And because mm -hmm. I was the younger one, you know, it was always like, oh, yes. you know. When you've got an older sibling, I feel like that's kind of the vibe. Yes. And I remember quite from an early age, like my brother would be like, you know, it's defo mum believing these presents. Like, <laughs> let's, try, let's try and like catch her in the act. And we'd always try and like catch her on Christmas Eve, like, you know, doing shit. And then mm -hmm. I specifically remember, but I still kind of believe, you know, in the magic. And I specifically remember being in primary school, maybe like year, must've been in year four. Yeah. Four. Because my brother was still at the school. So how old are we there in, then in year four? I've got no concept Eight. of age. Eight. Ten? Eight. Okay. And then 
my brother's friend, we were in the canteen. Yeah. And my brother's friend, Alessio. Alessio, all right. Um, okay. Was like, yeah. He's still alive and Yeah, kicking. was asking all the kids, like, if they believe in Santa. And he was like, yeah, so, like, you know, don't you? And Main I was like, boy I know. energy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> And then I was like, oh my God, wait, do I? Do I? And that was a that was a moment that's always stuck with me. Really? I was like, yeah, of course I know. What that. was Alessio? I knew Sa- that. Alessio Viola. Yes. <laughs> Shout out. Shout lovely, out. lovely family, lovely people. Yeah. Um said, yeah, you don't believe in Santa, do you? To like all these kids. The and he was and he was like, so like you know. And I was like, yeah. Of course. Yeah. So I was just doing it to like play cool. Stop. But then I was like, I do the really. with the big boys. With the big with the older brothers trying yeah. to fit in, you know, that's been my yeah. upbringing. Okay. Yeah. So I was that was my that's story. Been my upbringing. <laughs> What about you, Back Jins? in my hands. Right. Chins was in year 10, um, age of 16. Well, right. No, I don't remember what age I was. It must have been primary school. Good. I wasn't starting secondary school. I don't know. Believing. Or was I? Or were, or were you? <laughs> no, but I remember because my mum and dad, they would, every Christmas, they would put flower footsteps into each of our rooms. That's very creative. Oh my God. I thought that was real magic snow. Yeah. Because very creative. Mum and dad, they'd be like, Oh God, it's a nightmare to clean this. Why does he keep leaving this? Uh, These are fantastic. Like, fucking hell. Santa's really is, mean it. You know, fucking hell, he really stepped foot. Yeah. Here. I remember when I used to have the bug bed. Yes. So this was the time it uh, it faded. So I was faded. asleep. <laughs> so I was asleep. Of course. Suddenly the door creaks. Uh, it's Ravana on his hands and knees with a stencil and a bag of flour oh no <laughs> dreams crush <laughs> stencil bag of flour I bet your heart sunk yeah and I was like <gasps> fuck it now oh my fuck close my eyes <gasps> see I've seen what I needed to see <laughs> What's that TikTok? Romana, that's all I needed to see. But I don't think I said anything the next I mustn't have. No, you must be too scared. No, because also I had Lydia and Mariana who were much younger. Yeah. I didn't want to spoil the magic for them because it was still, oh my God. And I think I was still maybe going, oh wow, Santa has really been here. Yeah. Looking around, side eye. Yeah. Romana. And then I think I probably went, oh God, yeah, this is this is self-raising flower, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give it a definitely flower. Oh, I can't, I got I can't sniff. Oh, almost lost my breath. <laughs> Whoa. It's hard, it's hard to sniff with these yeah, masks on. And that was the moment oh. the magic died. Well, let's find out your yes, guys' moments. So what have we guys, got here? We've got, oh, see, this is, you know, as kids, We're smart. I noticed that Santa had the same gloves as my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what else I noticed as well? Mm. That Santa had the same handwriting as my mother. <laughs> yes. like on the tags it'd yes. be like to Sophia love from Santa <laughs> yeah. I'm like this is so weird you and mum have the same calligraphy right the local vicar told us in year two year two the PTA was outraged <gasps> absolutely absolutely the PTA was the outraged vicar. that is the, the vicar oh, call the vicar now <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did she say? It cut the vicar, see me now. His doctor. Cut the, cut oh, yeah. The doctor, see, see me, me now. now. <laughs> and then doesn't Joey go, the vicar, the vicar won't be home for hours. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it. The vicar won't be home for hours. Joey, where did you learn that word? <laughs> I saw my dad doing the stocking and going downstairs to put the presents under the tree. Oh, it's all classic. They, it's like they think they're still getting away with it until they're not. Yeah. But it's always nice to just believe, isn't it? Yeah, realize Santa's handwriting was the same as my dad's. A classic. Classic mistake. I mean, parents, come on. Mix it up a I little know. bit. My mum left a tag on the gift and we all saw it at the same time and I burst into tears. Of course, because it's not meant to have come from a shop. It's meant to have come from the elves. Of course. And what, there's an Argos fucking tag on it. <laughs> Something's a miss here. not right. Oh, we're very my switched on. mum told her in front of me. Oh. <gasps> I bet your mum was pissed. Yeah, off. my friend's mum. My friend's mum told me, and my mum was fuming. I bet she was. Wow, that's not fair. Walked into the living room, and my dad was eating the carrot and the mince pie we put out. <gasps> oh, At least, God. come on. That's for Santa. Oh, uh, my mum had the sniffles. I then heard the same sniffles filling up my stocking. Oh, for goodness' Classic. sake! Blow your nose, Susan. Spoiling the magic. Found the wrapping paper that Santa used in my mum's wardrobe. Oh, God. For fuck's, fuck's sake. sake. Oh, gosh. Uh, 
I'm you know, just you know, you know what I have been seeing some parents do on TikTok, which yeah. I think is quite magical. They are, you can request for a letter to be sent to your house. Yes, from the North Pole. And it's like, you've been very good this year. Like, I can't wait to visit you shortly. Yeah. Like, I've got my list and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh, that's lovely and magical. I'd like, I'd have liked yeah. to receive that. I remember we would go on the old crickety computer and it was a track Santa. Life. Oh, I loved a yes. track Santa. And it was like, oh yeah, he's in Stockholm right now. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you shows. better get to bed because he's going to be here soon. Yeah, that's what it was. Just going to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, he's, he's in China shot. right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Good Searched times. Searched it up on the internet in an IT lesson in year three. <gasps> Is Santa real? I have to know right now. <laughs> Santa real, guys, guys. News just in. Gather around. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I was so scared of him that my mum had to tell me because I cried all of Christmas Eve. Oh, you're afraid of him. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of spooky. A lot, so we've got a lot of br- older brothers breaking the news, older sisters. Yeah, that's inevitable, I think. <gasps> One of Zoella's YouTube videos when I was in primary school. Oh, not Zoe. Not Zoella, not Zoe breaking hearts. Oh, Zoe. <laughs> I hope we've not broken any hearts. We had a whole class discussion about it in primary school. People cried. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, right, we'll leave it there. <laughs> People cried. <laughs> there was tears. Oh, no. Oh, someone said, a bitch stu- stood up in reception class and told everyone. <laughs> Guys, you're all being lied to. Our parents are lying to us, guys. <laughs> we must open our eyes. See the truth, the reality. We have, we have to grow up. <laughs> right. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Right, should we do one. some dilemmas? Yes, please. It's almost Christmas time, guys. Right, so it's um, almost Christmas time. Right, are they, where are they? Right. Is it, it's yeah. not that mail, is it's, it? It's Yeah, it's in the, see, she's not used to this. It's in the mail. <laughs> Right. <clears throat> okay, listen up. Please. Who remembers Winter Celibacy Man? Let's just wind our minds back. Yes. Couple weeks. We've yes. got an update. Yes. So who remembers the girl was seeing the man from the gym? Yeah. He didn't want to have sex because he's on winter celibacy. Had they had sex? No. Never. They he said, were kissing, taking clothes that was off. It. That was it. And it was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Got to hold myself back. I'm actually celibate I'm really throughout winter. I'm really focusing on muscle growth this and, winter but, And then season. she was like, but you know, I actually quite like him. You know, I could see something. Yes. But he wasn't messaging her and following yeah, up. Yeah, he started, he, yeah, and then it was getting awkward at the gym, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yes. Because he was being celebrated over winter. <laughs> okay, so, so. Listen to this. Sarah has wrote in saying, I think someone wrote in about the guy I'm seeing. So this is another girl who has been seeing winter celibacy man, we think. Okay, so just, so, you know, on a happy Wednesday, she's in her car. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. And she's thinking, hang on. Yeah. My boyfriend's celebrating throughout winter as yeah, well yeah yeah possibly we've not actually read yeah. it but let's see what she's got okay, to say hey girls love the updates honestly, i love the cross-contamination honestly, of the, of the I listeners love it. so i've emailed him before about a dilemma and i'm and i am a consistent watcher of the potty thank you when watching your podcast from wednesday the 20 20- she's so when specific when watching your podcast from wednesday 29th of november i had a feeling <gasps> a good feeling it was about a guy who says he's celibate through winter. All signs added up <gasps> to it being the guy I'm seeing, <gasps> Brian. The girl in the email expressed on their night of hanging out, he arrived after 1 a.m. She yes, did say she did. that. She did. Brian and I have been seeing each other since the end of May. <gasps> he Ages. Wa- Shit. So they, so I'm assuming you guys have had sex then because it was in summer. Summer. He Prime wasn't celibate. Prime mating season. Yeah, absolutely. You were so Pre-hibernation. Absolutely. In a shredding period. Yes. Abso- yeah, he's already shredding. Then it's bulking. Then and it's no bulking. Sex. Brian and I have been seeing each other since the end of May. He works a nighttime bartending job, meaning... He oh. finishes any time between 1 and 3 a.m. So it's... that checks out that, yeah, he was going around to another girl's house after 1. It's starting right? to add up, isn't it? I work at the same venue as a waitress. Okay. Okay, so you work where he works. Yeah. However, due to starting most mornings at 7 a.m., I am out of work at 11 p.m. and at home asleep. Okay. Right. One night. Oh, my God. This is literally crazy. One night. A few weeks ago, after shift, he got out at one 
and I continued to stay on shift. Right, okay. His replies slowed down and he never let me know he was home. <gasps> oh, oh my God, shit. Lucy, this is crazy stuff. Fuck. Oh my God. So I continue to say on shift, his replies were slower. He never let me know he got home. So I well, assume yeah, usually he he's out. like, home now, you know, yeah. wish you were here. Hope the shift goes well, you yeah. know. Come round when so you So I get checked off. the location oh, fuck. on Find My Friends. Brian was in a part of the city where 90% of uni students live <gasps> till around 5 a.m. in the morning. That's what she said. They were talking for hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck off. I thought this was weird, but I but didn't feel the need to bring it up due to not being his girlfriend. Right. right? So, but you've been seeing this guy yes. since May. Yes. Oh, oh my God. My I'm actually God. really sorry. So this was a few weeks ago. Because you you found out you've been yeah. cheated. Well, yeah, you've, you've been like, cheated on. Why even bother your winter celibate? Right. So you're just wanting to go form a new connection with this girl, but then he's even, but then he's well, being weird with the been, new girl anyway. They'd been flirting at the gym, hadn't they? Yes. And he obviously thought there's no way you two are going to cross of paths. Of course, because you're his work girl. You're his and work let's wife. face it, you never would have known if it wasn't for this show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of uh, that? What are the Fucking Both chances. girls are All listeners. the men in the UK, you better watch your fucking backs. You better watch your back at night, I tell you Seriously, that. Seriously. You better sleep with one eye open, At blokes. least turn off that Find My Friends location, yeah. you freak. Because we're we're out here just exposing all the men yeah, out here. Yeah, it's incredible. Right, okay. We could take up a new little segment, Catching the Cheaters. Honestly, that would be fantastic for me. We could do call outs. Uh, that would be fa- if anyone's like suspicious of a behavior from a night. Yeah. We can call it out here. To yeah. Wait for the responses. Yeah. See what we get back. Yeah. Wait for the hard facts. We'd have to fact check it. We'd have to see two pictures of the men you're talking about so that we make sure they're the same man. Very true. Because otherwise we could just have. It'd be like that show, Cheaters. Remember? Yes. <laughs> you're a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> they bust in with the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> we could do that we could okay right okay right, right so, so she never brought it up because she's not his girlfriend yes so, okay fair like, enough whatever we're not exclusive you're whatever. wanting to be chill you're not wanting to rock the boat yeah so she's also like she is switched on she's she so said, wise the girl in the email mentioned moving down for uni so this all checks out she was in the uni district you know yes 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 alongside this brian is a massive gym goer and due to having a very fixed night schedule seems to go to the gym a lot at the same time during the day to yes. see let's say susan okay due to seeing brian for five months now Five months or so now, we have had multiple conversations about sleeping with other people and all those kind of things. Okay. He has said he has never felt comfortable sleeping with more than one person at a time. <gasps> He's lied to the other girl. Is he not winter celibate then? He's lied to the girl. <gasps> but he, then lied, it's weird. he lied to us all. But then it's weird because he's being... Like he's being like, he's being truthful to this girl because he's saying, I don't want to sleep with anyone else. Yes. But then he's still going at 1am to see another girl and then lying and saying, I went to celibate. Right, just don't go. (laughs) Just don't go. (sighs) What the fuck? Do you think that's it? Can you imagine this girl listening to that episode? She would have thought, shut the fuck Shut the front door. Imagine that. No. I'd I'd, just all get in peace together. I'd be your heart. You know when your heart beats so fast? Oh my oh, God. I'm sorry that this has come out like this. I know. But I'm also glad that you now know some, something that you Catch may him. never have yeah. found out. So he, before like you're his girlfriend or boyfriend, right. he has said he yeah has never felt comfortable sleeping with more than one person at a time. Brian has a close friend. Okay, new character. Let's call him Stove. Okay, she Steve. She said Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve and I have built a friendship through Brian. He's aware of my overthinking, like what Brian does on nights out and what he's like with other females. About, so you like Brian. Yeah, you're friends. Brian, but she also likes Steve. Sorry, yeah. And what he's like with other females. About three weeks ago, Steve made a joke saying, nah, he doesn't sleep with anyone else. He tells girls that he's celibate because of the gym. <gasps> Are you actually me? Oh, oh my 
my gosh. So Steve knows Brian's little trick. You fooled us all. You fooled everyone. You fooled us all. You little celibate man. You sneaky thing. You had us Googling celibacy yeah. for the gym. We were on bodybuilding.com. We literally were on the bodybuilding. Oh, it's a myth. It's a myth. Reading about how extracting but semen what daily, what it can do for muscle growth. What an elaborate lie. What a load of bullshit. But also, like, what do you do in the summer? Yeah. It comes up with another bullshit. But, yeah. but then why are you making it? <laughs> but then it's weird. He's just making excuses to not sleep with these women who want to sleep with him. Right. It seems a bit bit backwards in terms it of the It seems like a lot of effort. Yeah, it for, is. for what? For what? He must get a kick out of like... Almost. He gets a kick out of something else. Yeah. But it's like, isn't just... What's the point? What's the point? But Brian, they, they, but they, email in, let us know. But then Steve saying, so he does this to multiple girls, tells them he is celibate through winter. It's not, you're what? not the first one. What? So like, what is, what are we, oh, I wish we had a picture of Brian. Okay, we're almost at the end now. So yeah, three weeks ago, Steve made a joke saying, no, nah, he doesn't sleep with anyone else. <laughs> he tells girls he's celibate because of the gym. All these, oh, all these signs fuck. are leading me to think, is this girl's Brian my Brian? Definitely. 100%. Without a doubt. Just to add uh, to this, my Brian is Greek, so is hers. It's the it's same the guy. Same I can't. <gasps> uh, what should I do? Could it just be a coincidence or should I watch no, the podcast? No, this is way too oh, specific. Oh, oh, oh. Listen, she said, or oh, should I watch the podcast with him and see <gasps> if he crumbles? Have it playing in the car. Have it fucking that playing would be in the our car. Advice. Have a GoPro set up, you know. Uh, send us the footage. Please. With the permission we can to keep use the it. Fu- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make oh, him sign on the dotted line. shit. Seriously. What are the chances of that? I know. Just, yeah. What should I do? Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, girls, for the long email. No. Not at all. But be our guest. I'm stuck on whether I'm just overthinking this or do we actually live in a small world? We live in a small, small world. We all live in Whoville. At- and it's very small in Whoville. Yeah. I'm it's sorry. Cozy. He's Greek. He has this weird lie. He, it was <laughs> he, a uni girl. Late night. The 1am thing. He's a gym boy. He's Greek. It's him. I can't. Okay, so what Sack is she? It off. I think he's just a bit weird. The weird lies all lead to bigger well, it lies. Just like, so it just doesn't make sense. Don't because know. like, if he was going to cheat on you... That would make sense. But, 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 but the it, fact that you're, he's making the effort to like go to this girl's house, weird. talk for four hours over the kitchen island. Forming a, but also that is emotional cheating, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Got very nasal there. <laughs> and then having a kiss and then going home. Like, what is that giving him? Why is he doing it? And why does he do it to several people? Maybe he just doesn't want to plant his seed. Just wants to have a snog. He just wants a passionate snog. But yeah. Is it his tactics? Does he want girls to fall in love with him? Because they can't He gets have a kick him. out of saying, oh, sorry, hold your horses. Must do. He must, because I'm sorry. I what? think he's a fucking weirdo. <laughs> fucking freak. Freak of the fucking week. Freak of the week. Watch out. He's a weirdo bear. of Uville, that's for sure. <laughs> So he's a bartender just out there. Yeah. You need to let us know the city. You do. We need to raise some red flags. We need to raise some awareness, put some posters up around the city. Warning, warning. Winter celibacy is a lie. <laughs> yeah. Please. Oh, listen, I think, look. I'm sorry, um, Sophia. There must have been another girl who's had this winter celibacy life on this map. Please tell us. Because also, he's obviously a very good looking, built, muscly Greek, Greek god. Yes. All right, whatever. I'm sure you're attractive. Yeah. But you're a freak. But you're a freak. What a fucking freak. <laughs> the only good thing here, right, is that both girls Are have aware. found out the truth. Yep. And I think now you can just be like, oh, I'm done with this. Too it's messy. weird. It's weird. Also, like you've been seeing him for five months and you like him. Five months is a long time. Long time. For him to still be going right. Like also, after a shift, you're, you're not fucking tired. Are you not you freak? exhausted. But he's still got the energy to go and see a new girl. Desperate. Weird. For what? For what? Weird. Cut it cut it off. You've got all you were gonna get out of yeah. it. You've seen him for five months. And the girl from the last episode that he wasn't replying to her text. Yeah, he wasn't. Dodged a bullet. I, I no doubt he's got multiple, multiple women that he's doing this weird, sneaky, so, weird thing. But for what? Too. What's he gaining out I, of I, it? I, I, unless we did an MRI scan on that man's brain. We'll never know. We would never know. Even then we wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> right oh, moving on right, okay god what an update was that can't even with that Warning. Stop. <laughs>
<laughs> Stop. Alert. LAPD. <laughs> NYPD. Freeze Free punk. punk. <laughs> Free this punk. is an important message. <laughs> you. Freeze punk. <laughs> Oi, subscribe. NYPD. Right, good night. <laughs> NYPD, subscribe, punk. Um, uh, please subscribe if you're watching on yes. YouTube. That is all. See ya. Freeze. Freeze. <laughs> Her hands are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Next dilemma. <laughs> we have got here mystery pants. Mystery, found how you say? In his bed. Stop. And the thing is with pants, I know when they're not mine. I know every single pair of pants I've got. For the past 10 years. Yes. I could see a pants that I wore when I was 10 years old Same. and tell you whether they were mine or not. Same. <laughs> and that's just, you just know. You just know. Your uncomfortable pants, but the, the pants thing you is, don't really want to wear. Boys don't think that we know that. Exactly. It's like the hair bubble situation. Yeah. That's not a thing that they've thought the about. The neurons don't connect. The in pathways that, aren't yeah, pathing. In, in, that can, in that instance. Okay, so... Big fan of the pod. Thank you. <laughs> big fan, big fan. Shout out, shout out. Shout out. Me and my flatmates listen every week while we make dinner. It's together, you guys. Oh, enjoy shout the fajitas, out. guys. Bon appetit. Enjoy the fajitas. It's a classic dish. I know it is. Definitely a classic in We're the all, household. It's a classic in the universe. Oh, we got peppers, onions, chicken. Delicious. Old El Paso kit. Stunning. What, we got hard tacos or soft tacos tonight? <laughs> I use the same kits. No, they're, they're brilliant. They're classics. They've been around for decades. They and have. Decades. Angie's been and using you always them feel for like years. you've really cooked up something special. Yeah, you've you made It's a little bit of, bit of sour clam, bit of guacamole, bit, bit of salsa, heat. bit of heat, bit of heat. Oh, it's so spicy today, isn't it? <laughs> bit right. heavy handed. Okay. With the paprika. Okay. We, we are. <laughs> we are all super close. But I'm worried that's all about to change. You guys. No more we are tonight. four third year uni students, two boys. We'll call them Brian and Tony. <laughs> it's Tony. <laughs> and two girls, Sarah and Susie. I am Susie in this story. Okay, okay wait, wait, sorry. Two We've girls, Brian, two boys. Tony, Sarah, Susie is the writer. Sarah has a crush on Brian since first year. So and that. has never said anything to Brian because she doesn't want to ruin the friendship. They've never right. had a normal relationship because she's been a bit territorial over him. But to be fair to Sarah, there has always been some sexual tension and he does sometimes get flirty with her. But they've never locked lips. No. Recently, Brian's been seeing a new girl. Let's oh. call her Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Things have been going. Sandra. Things have been going well and Brian seems really happy. For for Brian and Sandra. Sandra has come <laughs> round to the flat and gets on really well with everyone. Oh, that's good. Sarah has even said she thinks Sandra is nice too. Okay. But I know deep down she's quite hurt that the fact that it's Brian's got hurt, a girlfriend. I've tried to talk to Sarah about it, but she doesn't really want to open up. I just know that it's getting her down. Oh. Could you just scroll? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For a bit of context, Brian and me share a wall. We live in a pretty small flat. Okay. Oh, no. The other day, Sarah... No, sorry. The other day, Sandra came round after her and Brian had been out on a date. I was just about to fall to sleep when I heard shouting from Brian's room. Stop. Is it Sandra? <laughs> Didn't think much of it until the <laughs> next day when I saw Brian and he seemed really upset. Oh. Brian then explained that Sandra had found a pair of girls' underwear in his bed that weren't hers and kicked off. Sarah planted them. I'm calling it now. Sarah planted the pants. Fair enough. I would too. Brian swears he doesn't know who they are, whose they are. And because we all live with each other, I know he hasn't slept with anyone else. Yeah, like no course. one's been around here. I've called it. Brian showed me the pants. I've called it. I know they're Sarah's. I called it. We had just gone shopping a few days earlier and they were the exact pair she'd just bought. Fucking hell. So she's put a nice, clean new panty. Yeah, of course she has. Wanties. Yeah. Brian and Sandra are now taking a break Fuck. because Sandra doesn't believe that Brian doesn't know where these pants but, came from. But also, from. side note, 
in Brian's defense, he does live with two girls and yeah. like a laundry basket. Yeah, yeah. An accidental tip of a, yeah, yeah, a you yeah. know, like, a, or a cycle could have gone on, a pair of knickers could have gone yeah. in his pocket. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Seriously. But like finding a thong yeah. in the bed, like yeah. in the bed. Yeah, you know. I guess. So they're taking a break. I confronted Sarah about this drunk. She burst into tears, admitting it was her and saying she thought it would just be a funny joke and didn't think they'd actually break up. She asked me not to tell anyone and I don't know what to do. Sarah is my best friend at uni and I know this is out of character for her and seeing them together was hard considering their history, right? Because you're in third year. Sarah's had a crush on Brian since first year. I don't know whether to tell Brian it was her and risk ruining their friendship and the whole flat dynamic. Yeah. Or do I keep it to myself, hoping that Brian and Sandra will work it out? This is complicated. Sarah has just had a a moment of franticness, hasn't she? She's overwhelmed with love and emotion and jealousy and, you know, I think she probably wanted to maybe, I know she said it was a joke. I I think she probably wanted to cause a bit of a rift. Yeah. Granted, maybe she didn't expect it to break them up. To break them up. But like, you don't just do that. She wanted wanted to stir the pot. She knew that that would upset Sandra. Yeah. And as nice as she says Sandra is. No. No. Like, okay. So. So are you going to tell Brian? Oh, shit. Because Brian showed you the underwear and gone, look, Sandra's fuming. She's found these. And you've seen them straight away and thought, I fucking bought those. So the question is, is whose back should Susie have? Her best friend at uni or, or not, or not have a back. That was it, right? I guess your best friend. I guess. I, I think guess. you need to get her to declare her love to Brian, I think. Just be like, tell him you're eating yourself alive. Yeah. You know, tell him your feelings. Let him know. Look, I like you. I like I really like you. Get it you. off your chest. Get it off. She'll feel relieved. She won't be like feeling like she's harboring this big secret that she's trying to sabotage stuff. Yeah. Because I'm I'm sure and she's got you need to focus on. She needs to release this information. True, true. She's got a dissertation to write this year. True. Seriously. She's got big deadlines. Yeah, and up. she's like moving frantic and emotional. And she needs to just like set a record straight. Yeah. L- granted, like we could maybe keep the pants situation to ourselves. It's only gonna it's only gonna make Brian hate Sarah. Yeah, because it's, it? it's ruined his relationship. Yeah, he's no, Especially if Sandra can't get over this. Yes. Because he's thinking, well, you ruined my relationship. Why am I going to be with someone who's a sabotager? Yeah. So we need to happen. keep some sort of illusion alive for Sarah, for Brian, if there's any chance. Yeah. I think Poor Sandra. Poor Sandra. Because, you know, you say she was a nice girl and she just didn't believe you. Listen, I wouldn't I believe I wouldn't it. believe him either. You're a pair of fucking sexy And you live with thongs. two girls. It's... Yeah, and then they're all saying, no, we don't know, we don't know. Yeah. Of course you know. Someone you're gonna fucking think, knows. You're going to think you're being lied to, Someone aren't you? Someone fucking knows, yeah. I mean, technically, I guess you've got to have your best friend's back. She's going through yeah. a hard time. She's always she's a had heartbroken a, She's girl. always had a crush on this guy. That's so hard. He's got a new girlfriend in front of her face at yeah. the flat, living together. She's probably watching them cuddling, laughing. That's hard. Listen, if those walls are thin, she's hearing she's all sorts as all well. Sorts. She don't want to hear that. No, she doesn't want to hear. You don't want to hear the canoodles and the giggles no, and all those and the noises. Snuggles. You don't want to hear that. No, and especially because she's single. I know. Like, she doesn't help. even have like a sympathy boyfriend. You know, someone she doesn't really like just yeah. for some cuddles. I know. She doesn't even have that. So I think you've got to have your best friends back, technically. She's going through a hard time. You maybe you her. could encourage her to, maybe you should tell Brian what you did. Like own up to it. Yeah. Oh, Come clean. Oh, oh. I bet he's going to hate her. It's going to be no hope. Yeah. Unless, maybe you just keep it to yourselves. But then if Brian and Sarah suddenly embark upon a love affair. Can't see that happening. Neither can I, but if. If. Then this thong incident comes out in five years' time. It's going to ruin the the marriage. Then you'll be then you'll be emailing. So it. it's yeah. So do we just get all of our put all our cup? What's it out? Hang Dirty all our laundry. laundry to dry. Yeah, or, that's a tricky situation to be it in. It is. I think try not to insert yourself too much. Like at the it's end of the day, though, this is you all live together. I know. At the but end yeah. Of the day, I, do you know what? At the end of the day, if you were being selfish, I want you to be able to live in a nice. I don't want harmonious. Harmon- I don't want 
you know, Sarah and Brian's beef to ruin your last year of living at uni. Do true, you know what I mean? True, So true. if it was me, I'd be a bit selfish. You'd be like, look, I'm going to keep this to myself. Yeah. I don't want any bad vibes in this house. Yeah. Like I've got a dissertation to fucking write. True. Not Do you know wrong. what I mean? I'd yeah. be a bit selfish and I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not. Saying like, anything. Sarah, keep it to yourself too. Like, let's just keep this harmonious. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to be hell. All hell's going to break loose. Yeah, and the last thing you want is coming home after a long day of uni work and studying in the lecture hall. Yeah. And the bad and, vibes. and fights are breaking out. Or we can't just, at least we can't be in the kitchen together. It's like yeah. tiptoeing around. There's nothing worse than that. And there's no doubt she regrets it. No doubt she regrets it. Or does she? she? Cassandra's gone, hasn't she? Listen, I mean, if I was being conniving, I mean, great, great plan, it's a Sarah. a good idea, You know, Sarah. Sarah, I think it was a fantastic plan. It worked out just how you wanted it to. <laughs> it did. Good work. <laughs> Good work, Sarah. A star from us. Uh, Sarah, we need your POV, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Write in, please, Sarah, because uh, we need to know what was going through your mind. We'd like to know your thought process. And uh, I want to know what your plan of, plan of action is. Plan I think of you need action to, is. I, I'm really surprised you've not had a drunk snog, to be fair, the two of you. Because she said there's well, always he been obviously flirting. Doesn't have that strong feeling. I know, but there's always been a bit of yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then the thing is, if if two people are like really trying to keep a friendship, then they will. Yeah, true. You know, but you need to just lock lips, right? Merry Christmas, I guess, and a happy New Year. We've got a very fitting dilemma next coming from Susan Susan. Someone's coming Susan, from my gig. Su- Susie Lou, <laughs> Susie Lou, <laughs> Susie <laughs> Lou, who lives in Hoo Hoo, <laughs> the town of Hoo. Um, she said, my mother-in-law is the literal Grinch. She is he. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it is I. It is I. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first, I love the pod and I actually cannot believe I'm writing it right now. God. They never can believe Susie Lou. Susie Lou who? Right, quick background. Okay. I'm an engaged girly. Congratulations. Wow, congratulations. We don't get a lot of fiance is in here. We don't. Uh, I've been with my partner for six years. Gorgeous. We bought a house together a couple of years ago and are getting married next summer. So exciting. Wow. We have never spent Christmas together. Okay. It's never been a big issue or problem before as we spent almost every day together. Okay, so you're a yeah. couple that's like, look, we can be separate this day. Fine. Let me go to mine. You yeah. go to yours. Everyone's, Everyone's happy. happy. Your family's See happy. See you next week. See you on fucking Boxing Day, babe. Yeah, Jesus Christ. Need a fucking break from you. Right. So, and he has always, you know, I've always wanted to be with my family and he has always wanted to be with his. So it just worked out. Last year, after we got engaged, his mum, my mother-in-law-to-be, uh-huh. became absolutely fixated on the idea that I was taking away her baby boy. <gasps> Not the baby boy. Oh. oh. So also she's been voicing this. You're taking away my baby boy. Babes, it's been six fucking years. Nothing's, and also like, nothing's really He's going to change. He's a 34 year old we man. We already live together. Yeah. Like, it's not like I'm whisking him away to the other side of the world. We live down the street. Also, he's nothing's here every Christmas. Nothing's going to change. He's here every Christmas. But she's just freaking out. She's just freaking out. Maybe she's get, she's scared of it being a marriage now. Because before she probably thought, oh, you know, it's still a girlfriend or, oh, it's still a Would fiance. Well, you know what I think this could be, actually? Yeah. To play devil's advocate. Yeah, like sometimes on. do. She is the mother of the son. Yeah. And usually what happens, like you see it all the time on TikTok. Yeah. It's like, you know, when it's like with dad's side of the family, it's like, oh gosh. Everyone's yes. like, not everyone, obviously, but generally people are more closer to the mum side. Yes. Generally speaking. Yes. Because it's like, the it's like oh you're the maternal grandmother yeah you're the maternal like the yes. mum's side so maybe yes. she's got a bit of insecurity about being the far the the on the dad's, on the dad's side, side because she might think you know she may be worried that when you have the bride a child, yeah she she maybe is worried that her son will get pulled more into your yes into her side of the family yeah 
Because what it I is, I can't is, get my words no, out. I know but... exactly what you're trying to say because she's scared that when you have a, a baby, yeah, and naturally she's going to turn to her own mother. Of course. But like, if I had a baby, I'm turning to my own mother, not my, your boyfriend's mum. No, I'm turning to my sisters. You know, I want my mum there. Yeah. Don't necessarily want his mum there. Right. Right. At all, to be honest. Right. Sorry, lady. I don't know you very well. Right? And she's scared. Just being of, honest. Yeah. And she and she knows that. Yeah. Right? And it may be that you want to live closer to your mum. Yeah. And exactly. she may be thinking, oh, my son's like, I'm losing yes. him because she's on the side of the boy. But that's just the way the world works, lady. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah. And right. it's not always like that. But it it's may, not, it but may generally... explain, it may be a fear that she has, yeah. you know? So she's become fixated on the idea that I was taking away her baby boy with not so subtle comments. Okay, like, Susan, on. this is a bit unnecessary now. Like, come on, like, don't make me feel bad. I'm just in love. Do you know and what I I'm mean? And I'm just a girl. Like, thankfully. Who loves a boy. Exactly. Thankfully, you raised a okay man. Right. who I'm willing to wed. Right. You should be grateful he's with me. I'm taking him off your hands. Yeah, you should be grateful. Yeah, he could do a lot worse than me. Exactly. Like, do you know what I mean? She should be grateful. Right. Um. So with not so subtle comments, always, always being thrown about. She even went so far as to calling me controlling, which I'm not. She is. And sending my fiance messages like, and I quote, I hope Susie is taking care of my little prince. Oh! <laughs> uh, 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 gag worthy. My, Ew, little, my little prince. prince. Yeah. Don't make me sick. Don't. That is, uh, 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 I hope my Susie. Oh, also, no, also no, no, for no, one, no. I'm not his mother. Right. Y you know, you're you're welcome to still do his. Yeah, I'm not his mother. Yeah, I'm not trying to take over your role. I'm not going to be here. cooking and cleaning everything up for this this man, man child. Oh, dear little me. prince, as well as a lot of other digs about my size. No, what? I'm not even big. Why are they always not bringing that it size would into it? My appetite. Fuck off! How dare she talk about? Your oh. appetite. That's literally disgusting. I hate people making food comments like that. Oh, you could put it away. Yeah, of course I can. Duh. <laughs> you said that to me the other <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, but sometimes <laughs> Sophia eats. I'm like, cool, blimey, she can really put it away. <laughs> 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 we'll both have the same sandwich I'll be on my second bite I'll look over it's fucking gone <laughs> but not from a mother-in-law no it's different no. vibes and how I've decorated our home <gasps> so what, just, she's slagging it off yeah slagging it off slagging off your slagging home it inspo off. no way okay so a nasty piece oh, of work oh it's not really then. the colour that I would have chose oh god isn't that so for an awful colour <laughs> it's a good job you don't fucking live there yeah then, it's a good it? job you don't live it's a good job you didn't pay for it then yeah off you go. Oh, that wallpaper is ghastly. <laughs> You're not my ghastly. choice. <laughs> right. So this year, my fiance and I have decided to spend Christmas together for the first time. Ah, uh, because your fiance yes. is now, you're, you're yes. a unit. You're thinking we need to be, you know, a united front. Yes. We come as one. Yes. Due to very elderly grandparents, we'll be going to my family's house. Ah, oh, oh. she's fucking raging, isn't she's she? Fucking she's raging. Human. The blood is boiling. Okay, and also, like, that's fair. Like, my fucking grandparents are elderly. Get over it. And also, like, I'm sorry. Come on. We're going to the girl's house. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Like, I'm, I'm You're coming pregnant. to mine. I'm not coming to yours. Yeah. Let's be real. Um, But also, like, I can see you any day, any other day of the fucking year. We've got 300 and how many days in the year? 65. Yeah. Like, it's one day. Okay, like, what about so Easter Sunday? You've decided to have Christmas yeah. as a couple at yours. Oh, Let's keep going. Oh my God, drama queen. Listen to this. When he told his mom he would be coming to my family's house, she cried hysterically for two hours, <gasps> saying that Christmas is now over for her. <laughs> is and, he? And she's going to be alone forever. Does she not have a husband? I think maybe she's single okay. and he's an only child. Yeah. Which I could, I could. Please note. Oh no, please note. She, oh, she's no. got everything I, I sorted. Stand, I stand corrected. Please note, she has two other sons oh. and is married to their dad. Oh my God. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> your family is full. I was huh? trying to cut her some slack. Same. Right, there are also, they are also not a big Christmas family. Right. So what the fuck is all the fuss about? 
about? You always complain about all the cooking anyway. Fair enough if she was like Mrs. Claus, but she's not even. So it's always very low key and casual. Whereas my family, we're obsessed with Christmas and love everything about it. Lots of food, wine, music, games, like we love the day. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. So she's crying hysterically. Hysterically, she's saying Christmas is over. Christmas is over. Bit of an over. uh, Yeah, that was a big reaction. Big reaction. She then texted me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Wait. Sophia. She then texted me saying she wasn't going to get him or us any presents. Is she uh, trying to like manipulate you and guilt trip you into being like, yes, like blackmail you with presents? Yes. You can keep your socks. Yeah. You can keep your candle, babes. Yeah. I don't fucking want it. You can keep your diffuser. Yeah. Don't need another one. What the fuck? And they weren't going to get a tree. (laughs) Fucking hell. She's not even putting a tree up. She really is the Grinch. And that she wasn't celebrating or having Christmas. Stop. (laughs) Listen, I'd probably be that dramatic though. I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm like, no Christmas up this no Christmas, Christmas tree is cancelled. We shan't be celebrating. Year. Brian's not Sebastian's, gonna be here. Listen, Leonardo is not gonna be here. Uh my son's So name. I'm cancelling the day. So I'm cancelling. I won't even be getting out of bed. I'm gonna be acting like it's spring. Wake me up when it's over. <laughs> Wake me up on January first. I'm not in the spirit, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's so dramatic. <laughs> oh, okay. Chill out, Susan. Oh, you funny lady. Um, so she, uh, she wasn't This must be her favourite child. It must be the first one. Oh, the other two, I like, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> what about us? Mom, come on, man. No uh, tree. Mom, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no fucking tree. <laughs> I know it's your favourite, but come on. Come on, what a way to make it obvious. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, so she, she was Mom, so- lighten up! <laughs> fucking hell! Fucking hell! It's supposed to be a time of festive cheer, <laughs> right? So she wasn't celebrating or having Christmas because my fiance is spending two days with my family. Oh, please! We offered to see them on the twenty seventh, the twenty eighth, but she said not to bother. <laughs> Don't bother. Don't bother. I can't even look at you Don't right bother. now. Don't bother. The only reason why we can't see both families over the two days, so I'm assuming at Christmas, Boxing Day. Yeah. Is because my family's a six hour drive away and we would right. split the time. Right. Or we would split the time, yeah. Of course. <sighs> His, this reaction, oh, we, oh my God, we've got a picture attached. Oh my God. This reaction on top of everything else has made me very concerned about how our lives together yeah, and tell other me about celebration. It. Yeah, think of the baby's first Christmas party. Yeah. I'm nervous for you guys. Same. Oh my God. Even first birthday, like, is she going to kick off? You know, off? when you're pregnant. I'm ner- like, what's she going to be like, this lady? Because she's unpredictable. <laughs> she is unpredictable. No, but like your birth. Watch her burst through the doors. I know. You know, uninvited. No, but I guess if Is she going to be her- kicking off that she's going to drive six hours to oh. be a part of it? She'll be like, can't you have it at ask for Yeah, one? she will. And you'll be thinking, no, she I will. want to go and have my, 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 my own mum's house. She will. But she has to understand she's got three sons. This is this is this is, this just, is the this is life, life that she's going to live. This yeah. is the life of a, of a mother of sons, of a boy right? mom, a boy mom. So this reaction on top of everything else has made me very concerned about how our lives together and other celebrations like Christmas or birthdays are going to be. Yeah, I try to stay as neutral as possible, but when is it time for me to tell her to stop? Oh, so this is really getting to you now. My fiance does step in. But the situation has never improved. For the sake of mine and my future family, what should I do? Thank you from a sad daughter-in-law to be. Oh, I've attached God. a photo of me and my fiancé. Oh, here we go. Oh, you guys. Happy couple. Gonna have some cute babies. Oh, really cute couple. Really cute couple. Her little prince. Oh, <laughs> the little prince. Goodness me, right. Right, so you're 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 getting pushed to the point where you're thinking, I'm gonna have to say stop it, lady. Because like, you know, you would kind of say, it, let your you let your fiance handle it. But right. let your fiance talk to his mum right. and say, chill out, chill please. Out, like you. you're making a rod for your own back because you're only pushing Ooh, us further. Oh, another fir- second, you're making a rod for your own back. You're only pushing us further yeah. away. Yeah. But he said that doesn't she said that doesn't really help. I I mean but but I 
it, they need to drill a message through. Like she's only going to make it worse for herself yeah, and she's she only going to push you away more. And then when it comes down to it, when you have kids, you're not going to want to bring them around her and then she's going to have ruined it for herself. Well, when, she's just moaning, isn't well, yeah, she? Well, yeah, and when you want a good relationship with her, I imagine when you first met her, you really wanted to love yeah. this lady. Like you do, you want to love your yeah. mother-in-law and your father-in-law, don't you? Like no one wants like a horrible situation. <laughs> yeah, she obviously feels very passionate about she, having her son around at Christmas. Time. Yeah, I think she's just panicked. I'm assuming this is like the oldest born. Yeah, she, she, the first one to fly the you know, nest. It's probably been a fear of her since they were kids. Oh my God, one day they're going to get married and I'm going to yeah. lose them. I'm going to lose them. Yeah. So let's try and cut us some slack. Oh no, but she has made the nasty comments. Oh, she has made the comments. So she? like also unnecessary. Fair enough. Trying if, to drive you if away. If the Christmas thing was an isolated event, I think, okay, maybe we could talk to this lady. But yeah, actually, no, I've slack. just remembered she's insulted your home. She's in, she's made com- about that. She's made nasty comments about your appetite and the way you look and I don't like it and I'm sorry and she's a grown woman right I think I think if I were you genuinely I would just try and like rise above and not not rise entertain above. it not play into it not have a big conversation I would just take more the stance yeah. of like I'm just going to ignore this yeah and it's only gonna yeah make make her she's only making her own life worse because like well no next Christmas I'm not coming to you because you'll all. be judging me whilst I'm eating my turkey. Exactly. Like, she's only making life worse for God herself. God forbid I made a dish for the family. You know, and she's just like, oh, this is awful, isn't it? God. It's oh, a bit God, too much salt, salt in this. in here, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> very salty. Oh, this is a, very salty, isn't it? Oh, this is too sweet for me. Or does it, oh, I can't, that's too sweet for me. Right, I can't oh, really I could handle never. sweet stuff. I'm so petite. Oh, I, I could, finish it. Oh, just a sliver, just a sliver, yeah. just a sliver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no yeah next year you know she's only gonna make it worse for herself yeah you know you can kill her with kindness exactly try and kill her with kindness Kill her with kindness at the end of the day you're gonna have a great christmas i mean you're gonna have the best christmas of of your lives because you're gonna be with your lovely fiance who you do love and want to get married to yeah and you're gonna be at your family's yeah win win win. for you hey win win for you look send her a selfie on a set you can send the mother-in-law a beautiful christmas selfie on christmas day yeah thinking of you you know it's it's not it's nice but it's also striking her when she's down and i think think she needs to see look we could all be happy here Right. But you're ruining it for yourself. Yeah. She's having a hard time. She's having a hard time. I think she's really struggling seeing her son grow up. Yes. And have his own life. Yes. But that is a her problem. It's a her problem. And she needs to work on that. It's not an excuse for her to be nasty it's towards you. It's never an excuse to be nasty towards the lady who's making so her she's son got happy. her own. she's got her own problems to figure out. That's why I think you just need to rise above, kill her with kindness, don't play into it, act like you didn't hear it, laugh it off, and just like... Well, now I'm worried for the wedding day. Oh, let's not talk about that yet. God, let's get yeah. over Christmas first. I, let's get through Christmas, but I'm more worried for the wedding day. Yeah. Well, maybe she'll improve with age. Yes. You know, when she sees that actually my son's not being taken away from me, yeah. she might chill out a bit. Yeah. And maybe when she real, but it's been six years, she needs to like count her lucky stars. Is that the saying? Count your blessings. Count, yeah. She needs to count her lucky stars and be like, look. <laughs> <laughs> at least see, you know uh, you she's know, not taking him to Australia yeah and also like you're a lovely woman right you know you are lucky that your son is with such a lovely girl amen you know so she needs to like relax take it you know relax good luck with All that right. okay last dilemma folks buckle up I am dating two flatmates at the same time <laughs> wait what are the chances so do the flatmates live together beg your pardon does she live with the boys or do the boys live together so, sorry do the flatmates live together <laughs> they're flatmates okay, okay. she's not My in bad. the flat it's late at night she's dating two flatmates got it she's not in the flat well that's at least something so those fumes you've been sniffing it all is, day it's inside this that foamy nose it's sending me looping okay a few weeks ago i met a brian on hinge okay he asked me to grab a hot chocolate at the Christmas market. Oh. I just couldn't resist. I like that. A lovely suggestion. He was a gorgeous uh, boy in his pics, but even better in person. Love that always. Six foot two, big blue eyes, gorgeous locks blue. of hair. We had such a sweet date. Went ice skating, hot chocolate. He even bought me a Yorkshire pudding wrap. We oh. love a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Do you know the amount of TikToks I've been seeing about people making their own Yorkshire pudding wraps? Seen them. And seen it has them. me tempted. Have you seen, what's well, I know? Have you seen the man who's made the giant roast um, Pie. potato? 
No. Potato. No. So, you know when you make a roast potato? Yes. Sorry. You know when you make a jacket potato? Yes. You just make a giant roast potato. Cut it open. Oh then you put your God. sausage and your veg and a bit of whatever, a bit of stuffing on top with gravy. And it's like a jacket potato, but it's a roast dinner. That's a nice jacket Christmas potato. dinner. Yeah, I did. That That's is. what we should do as veggies. Should. Okay. So, lovely date. Anyways, he asked me out on another date. One thing led to another, and I have been on four dates with this man. Incredible. Happy for you. He invited me round to his apartment one evening nice. as his flatmate was out, cooked me a gorgeous dinner. It was such a lovely evening, pasta, wine. Obviously, I liked this boy, and yep. we ended up getting with each other. Lovely. A few days after, we were chatting, and he brought up that evening. He okay. said that we actually used his flatmate's room that evening as oh. his room when we were, you know, in the bed. Yeah. Because his bedroom was messy. That's weird. Is that not weird? A little bit weird, yeah. So he said, oh, by the way, when we were, you know, in bed, that was actually my flatmate's bed because my bed was but messy. But also, like, tidy your bedroom before I'm coming yeah, round. Yeah, come on. Like, don't... Change the blue bed sheets, for goodness sake. I don't want to be in sake. your flatmate's sheets. I don't know what, don't who's know been in these what sheets. or who has been in these sheets or what has been done in these That's sheets. That's a weird boy thing, that is. That was weird. That was weird. Yeah. I thought this was so weird because I've just used a random Brian's bed without him or I knowing. I didn't think anyone anything would come of this and it was the first weird thing this guy had done. Shit. I liked him. However, from previous relationships I've had, I've learned to never close myself off after just a few days yeah, as you don't know someone's true intentions after such a short amount of time. Yeah, 100%. We still chat every day and things are going quite well okay. though. Okay. So you're just thinking that was the first w little weird thing. Yeah, you noted it as a bit of a red flag. Yeah. But, um, and you're keeping your options yeah, somewhat open. Which is, which is fine. So fast forward a few days, I matched with another gorgeous Brian on Hinge. <laughs> he had a similar vibe yeah. and was exactly my type. He then asked me to go on a date. Not the similar vibe. For a hot chocolate at the Christmas markets. Ah, they've been sharing tips. Sharing tips. Oh, I had a great date last week. <laughs> Went down Hot great. chocolate, Chris bit of ice skating, Christmas market. She loved it. She lapped it up. I just couldn't resist. I feel like it was a good comparison for me to learn to fine tune what type of boys I'm into. <laughs> yeah. We again had hot chocolates. It's Walked wholesome. around the stores. It's wholesome. And then he suggested a Yorkshire pudding wrap. Ah! Of course he did. To which I declined because I felt like I was living the exact same <laughs> date as Brian won. Yeah, let's at least have so This is a noodles. bit familiar, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's get a hot dog this time. The date was so cute. And obviously I was imagining my South of France wedding with this guy. Ooh. We had similar interests, even a few mutual friends. Nice. I went out on another date with him. It was just perfect. He then offered to cook me dinner last night at his apartment. <laughs> obviously, Why I thought... Why are they the same man then? Obviously, I thought super normal. Didn't give it a second thought. <laughs> yeah, this is normal behavior. I did this a couple of weeks ago. <gasps> he told me he didn't live far from me. So walked to pick me up. Stop. And we had a little walk in the snow to his apartment. That's cute. Only for me to realize he lived in the exact same building <laughs> as Brian number one. I thought, well, huge building. Yeah. What are the chances, yeah. you know? Small what? world. Surely not. Let me tell you. No. We get into the lift. My palms are sweating. No. I was thinking, please not floor 32. No. Please not floor 32. No. Brian then presses number 32. No, no. I genuinely yelped no. and thought, how am I going to get out of this? He asked me what was up, but I just told him <laughs> fear of heights. What's up? <laughs> Obviously, I was My thinking... My knees would have started knocking. Obviously, I was thinking, if this is Brian's one flatmate, he wouldn't invite me over for the first time while his flatmate was home. Of course. Okay, so you're kind of hoping, Hopefully. okay, if this worst case is the same flat, my original Brian yeah. shouldn't be in. How wrong I was. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait, he was in. He unlocked his apartment door and there was Brian number <laughs> one sitting on the sofa. <laughs> we locked eyes. I let out an awkward laugh. He said, hi. And it was so, so awkward. Brian, too, then asked if we knew each other. Fuck off. Brian, one, replied, we used to. Y fuck off. We've had sex in your in bed. In your bed, matter babes. of fact. He said, we used to. What a slap in the face. See, I had told Brian, number one, I wouldn't be on my phone much that evening as my mum was visiting me from back home. <sighs> Caught in the line. Oh, no. Oh. So we said, we're used to. 
Oh, so you text your original yeah. boy. I'm going to be a bit busy tonight. My mum's visiting. I can't be on my phone. Yeah, yeah. And you fucking show up at his flat. Shit. <gasps> oh, Meanwhile, no. he's innocently minding his own business on no dates. Sat on his sofa watching The Grinch. Shit. Watching getting in the, the Christmas Grinch. spirit. Fuck oh, off. Oh, no. I'd shit myself. I'd turn around. No, I, I would. In. If we were leading to, I'd I, I, actually, but in that moment, you're just shell shocked. You're yeah, not thinking. Don't know how to process. Well, so she thought Brian number one wasn't going to be in there. She said um, a little white lie that completely backfired. Shit. Brian too asked how we knew each other, and oh I was God. just frozen for the whole encounter. Oh my God. Brian number one told him. I am the girl he had been telling him so about. So he said, this is the girl I've been telling you about. And it erupted <gasps> into a huge argument. Erupted? What, between the two boys? Between the two boys. What? He just stood there. <gasps> Holy shit. But also, but, but, I mean, that is weird that they haven't shared a name or a picture. Because that's the first thing it you is. do. It is. Let's see. Let, oh, look. let's see. Can we see? Can that's we the see? first. Oh, show us, show us. That's Especially like if you would you and Brian number one had been on, you said like four or five days. Right. Like, like you were was, you were getting along. Right. Would you not be like, oh, let's see. Or at least have Offer say a, a name and be like, oh, it's Nicole. Exactly. And be like, oh wait, my, my girl's called Nicole. Yes. Where does she work? Yeah. Oh yeah, she, that, yeah. That is weird that they, but then it's like if they're dating loads of girls. Yeah, true. They, you know, they're not. Anyways, I told them both. I think it's best if I leave. <laughs> <laughs> and I escaped as fast as I could out of the building. Oh my. I got a text off both Brian's <laughs> this morning <laughs> telling me they both liked me <gasps> and they both wanted to take me on another date on Wednesday. So it's a Ross and a Joey when they're dating that girl, Soph. Absolutely. Yeah, and they're both like, oh, well, okay, let's do one more date Yeah, we both like her. Okay, what's the pay What's the pay Yeah, spend? what's the budget? Yeah, what's the budget? Oh, okay, so they didn't have a conversation of like, look, mate. No. Let's just leave her in the no. past. Our friendship, no, they both, oh, listen, it honestly, was, you've you got know, something special then, Let's girl. let her decide. Yeah, that's what it is. Let's let her decide. So they both like, asked you on a date on the same night, but it's like, knowing that you can only then choose one. Yeah, but it's like, I don't want to be dating someone whose house I can't go around to because a fucking guy is there that I've been seeing. Right. Like that's a red flag for me. Because now, you know. But Brian number two, you only had one date. This was going to be your True. second, If we were to pursue it? with Brian number one. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, it was just a date. Yeah. yeah and you could look back in a long, 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 long time and laugh. I guess. Um, you know, you've not slept with Brian number two. I guess. But, but anyway, Brian number two was exactly her type and yeah. hasn't done that weird. Like Brian number one's been a weird few times. Yes, that's true. Like you he, like he did the Brian weird number two lie. more. Like he, he made you, had to, like you had sex in his, in, in Brian number two's bed. She said, okay. I told him I needed time to think about yeah. it. AKA right into the podcast for help. <laughs> <laughs> We're flattered. <laughs> Just one last scroll, please. Okay. Oh, I wish we had pictures oh, of them. Oh my God, don't. I always thought, yeah, I can't see any negatives with dating in the early stages of multiple boys. But now I feel like I've scared myself for life <laughs> and caused their flatmate relationship to break up. During She's the dates, they have both told me about their best friend who was their flatmate and how much I would get along with them. Oh. Obviously, they were right. Yeah, yeah they, were, so, they were right in too many ways. So girls, what do I do now? How do I choose which boy to continue things with? Is it too sticky? Shit. Um, do I just spin them both off? Shit. The the end. The the end, thanks. God, what a way to finish off Listen, this episode, I think hey? Soph answered it, right? Because oh. you're just like, yeah. you've not like, at the end of the day, like you could laugh about it with Brian number two. Eventually. Eventually when you're like a boyfriend, girlfriend with Brian number one for like two years. Yes. I, I remember that fucking date we went on. Oh yeah. <laughs> I remember that argument you guys had. Yeah. <laughs> Long. Meanwhile, Brian number two sobs in his bed every night. Yeah, crying. Crying himself asleep. By the way, we slept in that because... bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, he can never find that out. <gasps> He's going to one day. Shit. You're all going to get very drunk and it's going to yeah, come out. But hopefully you can laugh at day. it. Hopefully you can laugh at it. Yeah, so I do think you could you could pursue. Uh, maybe it's one more date with each of them and then you decide. I mean, it's a great story to tell. It's an incredible You've entertained story. all of us here today, that's Absolutely, for sure. Absolutely, that's for sure. Do you think when, um, she's telling, when you're telling your grandchildren children about your single escapades, yeah. what an incredible story. Yeah. I need more stories like this. Yeah, so, oh, I mean, same, but <laughs> what can I do? Yeah, I'm going to have to live, live vicariously through yeah, you guys. you've got some good stories. Um, right. Yeah, so okay. what can you do? So, I think... 
I think if you it's not that deep yet is it it's not that deep I think look you either walk away from this situation as a oh my fucking god what a crazy girl I am that was hilarious (laughs) what a crazy single girl I am great story to tell gotta go guys I'm out of (laughs) here or if you genuinely really like Brian number one I think you can pursue that because yeah. you've dated him a bit more, yeah. you've slept with him, yeah. you've, I don't know, I feel like you're you're a bit more advanced with Brian And then I one. do think you have a potential to just be civil and friendly with Brian number two, right? Me too, because it was, not you, that you've deep. had less dates, you've not been intimate. Equally, I do think it could be the same for Brian number one. It, it, it could be switched yeah, the other way. But if you really like Brian number two, like, I yeah. mean, you can go there if you want. Like, I they're obviously can. both signing off on it yeah. because they've both asked you to meet up. And also, boys care less about this stuff. I, I feel like yeah, they do. Yeah, they do care less. Like, boys have less, like, of that, like, boy code. Like, yes. in terms of, like, they... They, they, there's no, it's not as emotional for them. Whereas for True. us, like, if if it was someone I slept with five years ago, I still wouldn't want any of my no. friends going near them. Do you know furious. what I mean? Yeah, it, it, I feel like they are slightly wired differently. True. So I think don't like. Let's just. I think go on a date with either one of them again. That's like if so you said, want to. If you want to, they're signing off on it. Yeah. I want you to make an informed decision because you like both of them. Yeah. And make I just want to make sure here that. They've not turned this into like a boys competition, competition. and and I've s- screwed their intentions. Here. Yeah, and like yeah. you know, br- they don't even like really care about you. They right. just want to have a laugh with the boys and to see share who's with their better. other mates. Yeah. yeah, okay. I don't want those vibes. I didn't consider that. Yeah, and I'm scared of that now. So am I. But so I think it yeah. depends how much you genuinely like A Either or B. Of them. Yeah. Um, because you could just walk away now and be like, haha, gotta go. Hilarious. Yeah, Great also, story. Because also, like, if we're going to protect our peace, this could get very messy very quickly. Right? I, I, I feel like it's going to be messier with Brian number two. Yes. Than it is with Brian number one. Yes. But then again, with Brian number two, we just got to keep things hush hush for a while you know for at least six months or so and we d- were obviously not going back i'm just i'm just yeah because she did like brian number two i don't want you to rule him out but it's i guess it's only been one date so how can you compare one date exactly. to like 10 dates it's incomparable yeah but then brian one has been a bit weird why was he weird again like with the, with the sleeping in the friend's bed and she said that was the first weird thing he did so meaning other weird things yeah so maybe they're just both a bit weird both a bit weird like maybe they're both maybe this is what they do when they get a kick out of it dating the same girl and maybe. they're pretending maybe this is all because you know what it's maybe giving. this is all this is just what they do it's giving this means war yes Reese Witherspoon yes. Chris Pine Pine is it and who's the other guy oh. Tom Hardy Tom Hardy oh the is that his name think so pretty sure it is yeah i think so that's what this is giving but then yeah. one of them did genuinely fall in love and did really like her even though they were competing yes it of was course. genuine of course so just tread carefully tread carefully and slowly Let's, and tread carefully and slowly try and trust your gut yeah What's your gut only we know what your gut is telling you like is your gut telling you that their intentions are pure i don't know like maybe yeah. do one more date with either of them or just walk on out of there and let's just move on yeah i feel you like know? you can only go on another date with one of them you can't date both of them no again. you can do a pick you can do one date with both of them again and then you have to pick i feel like you can only do one oh, you can't you can't yeah i feel like you have to pick now really because well they've Who both invited you out on a date on wednesday so you've oh, got to say yes day? To one of them and no to the other. And maybe that's just the answer they're waiting for. Yeah. Shit. I don't know how I would proceed. Good luck. Let us know what you do. Please keep us posted. Yeah, all, but also like, let's let's have some excitement in our lives. Why not? You know, like, Shake it up. Free. Like, let's, let's, for the, let's do it for the plot. Yeah. So let's, you know. Let sh- us live through you, you know. Yes, please. This sounds please. Like, this is riveting. Yeah. Please write back. Right? Keep us posted. Let us know. What are the chances, the- hey? I can't. That's like a movie. You should start writing notes of your novel. It is novel. giving. This means war. You should watch that, actually. That yeah, might help it you might help decide. You. Maybe watch it with one of the boys. It might be quite a good flash. Yeah. Or maybe when you go around, watch it with both of them. It might be quite funny. You sit in the Break middle. Break the ice. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> this, this is us. like us. Yeah. It's Look fine. at us. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us.
<laughs> oh right. gosh, good luck. Okay. Right, does that, that bring us to a close? I think so, so. God, I'm going to miss being the Grinch. I don't want to take this off. I know, honestly, I love my cute little nose. Ha, 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 ha. And honestly, this week. Five o'clock, jazzercise. Jazzercise. <laughs> <laughs> we Six took o'clock, some really... wallowing self pity. <laughs> we took some really <laughs> funny pictures. In myself, I have to sit on Sophia's lap. Yeah, she made me sit we on We took her some lap. funny pics. Um, <laughs> but it's almost Christmas time, guys. So Merry Christmas. Yes. I hope you're all feeling very festive. Um, Merry we hope Christmas. you like our costumes. Yes, if you've please. just listened via audio, sorry about the nasal sounds. <laughs> Back to regular sounding next week. Um, but yeah, love you guys. Thanks for emailing. Email your dilemmas to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. Follow us on Instagram at the Girls Bathroom Group, TikTok. We also have extra episodes every Monday over on Patreon. It's a great time. We out really there. do. There's Honestly, a lot of episodes over there now. They've really stacked is. up. I don't know what Sophia usually looks like. <laughs> I've forgotten. It's been but all I've day. never felt more confident. <laughs> <laughs> I've never felt less insecure. <laughs> sat in this chair today with you guys same <laughs> completely covered same no nose issues which no side nose you want me issues from? which side do you want me from this side yeah it's like um, it's a weight that's been lifted wait, off my shoulders what was that clip of was it Dua Lipa which side either either that's how I feel today yeah which side either honestly <laughs> either yeah not even oh okay gosh. you guys thank you for love watching love you thank you for listening goodbye from the Grinch and Cindy Lou we see love you next ya. Wednesday bye bye, bye. Where are you, Chris? <laughs> Hello there, Cindy Lou speaking. <laughs> oh, okay. I was waiting for you. Where are you, Chris? <laughs> Hello there, Cindy Lou speaking. Who's this? The <laughs> <laughs>